Well, we got our very first viewer request on this channel. A viewer emailed in to request a look at the German version of Pale Rider, an old Clint Eastwood film. Uh, okay, cowboy westerns aren't usually my cup of tea. I usually prefer sci-fi action adventure films, but why not? I looked up the film. I'd never seen it before. I watched it twice back to back, once in English, once in German, and I took a few notes. So let's look at some interesting German translations in this classic western film. Warning, there will be spoilers here and there. You know, in case you haven't seen this 40-year-old movie. Wenn du uns nicht hilfst, Herr Gott, gehen wir alle zugrunde. Bitte, nur ein Wunder. So the German word for miracle is Wunder. You'll see this inside some other words in German, like wunderbar or wundervoll, meaning miraculous or wonderful, or in the word wunderkind, meaning a gifted child, or perhaps more literally, a miraculously gifted child. This word sort of survives to this day in English in the word wonderful, although we adopted the old French word miraculum from ancient Latin miros to describe a miracle. In German, wunder can be used sarcastically in the phrase kein wunder to mean something like no surprise. But let's look at Megan's other line here. If you don't help us, we're all going to die. In German, you can use the phrase zugrunde gehen to mean perish. Wir gehen alle zugrunde means we will all die. Sollt niemand für Gesetz und Ordnung? Niemand an den sie sich wenden können? Sich an jemanden wenden can mean to appeal to someone, to contact someone, or to resort to someone. This seems odd at first glance because the verb wenden in German means to turn. But when you think about it, we have a matching expression in English, to turn to someone. Clint Eastwood is asking if the people in this town have someone that they can turn to, to help them with their problem. Okay, I'm tired of animating transitions, so let's just rapid fire through a few unusual words or phrases that I picked up on in this film. First up, go! Sorry we're late, boss. We got tied up at the sawbones. Knochenpflege is not an actual word in German as far as I can tell, and there are almost no matches for it online in any search engine. The line in English uses the word sawbones, which is an extremely antiquated and informal way of referring to a doctor, so I suppose the translation team just decided to come up with some rough equivalent. Knochenpflege would literally mean bone nurse. There are numerous words for preacher in German. Pastor, Priester, Pfarrer, Prediger, and possibly even a few more. I found it a little interesting that in the spoken dub of this film, Megan says Mr. Prediger, while the subtitle that they use says Herr Pfarrer. As far as I know, they're interchangeable, so this is a pretty minor mix-up. Ungeheuer is a pretty uncommon word in German. It means monster or behemoth, and here she's referring to Richard Kiel's character because, well, because he's a very large man. Still, this one stuck out to me for two reasons. Number one, the word monster also exists in German, so they could have just translated the English line directly. And number two, what a horribly rude thing to say about somebody. Do you imbibe, preacher? Only after nine in the morning. This one feels off to me. It's almost like the translation team missed the joke, or maybe I'm just not picking up on the joke in German if there is one. In English, preacher says he only drinks after nine in the morning, implying that he drinks quite a lot. In German, this dialogue was translated extremely literally and makes it seem like Preacher's response isn't sarcastic at all. Also curious that the translation team didn't try to find a better match for the English word imbibe. I was a little surprised to learn that the German word for gunfighter or gunslinger is revolverheld, but here it is. Revolver, of course, is taken from the English name of the old cowboy six-shooter pistols, and held means hero, meaning that the German word for this literally means revolver hero, which sounds a little cheesy to me. This comes directly from Sacramento when it says that I have the mineral rights for the whole canyon. If that was worth the paper it was printed on, you wouldn't be trying to bribe me. Let's take a closer look at this one because it's always neat when the same expression can work equally well in both languages. To be worth the paper it's printed on in German is das Papier wert sein, which can be used in the subjunctive to form a hypothetical like wenn es das Papier wert wäre, worauf es gedruckt ist. I also want to point out another fairly rare German word, bestechen, to bribe someone. This word, coincidentally enough, originates from the 18th century when this movie is set and was originally a mining expression, meaning to examine a rock by piercing into it. Somehow, over time, this came to mean to bribe or to corrupt a person, but it's not a word you hear very often. Seems like your dad is running out of steam, boys. You better take him home. <laughs> And speaking of expressions that work in both languages, here's another one. Jemandem geht die Luft aus literally means someone runs out of air, but it has exactly the same meaning in German as someone runs out of steam does in English. That's kind of neat. Okay, no spoilers for the big finale, but this shot right here really, really needed a catchy one-liner. Come on, Clint Eastwood, give us something. Make my day. 
How do you like them apples, punk? Something, I don't know, just something. Anyway, all in all, actually not a bad movie as far as cowboy westerns go, so thank you for that viewer request. If you have a favorite film or TV show in English and you'd like to see the German dub of it broken down on this channel, post a comment down below or shoot me an email. That's it for now. We will see you next time on Learn German from TV. Yeah.